4K is everywhere these days, from great big professional cameras like this to your DSLR and even your phone now you can shoot 4K video on. But is it any use? You know, who's got a 4K TV? Not very many people. Even less got a 4K computer monitor. So why would you shoot 4K? Well, I shoot 4K for one of three reasons. Number one, because it saves a cameraman on interviews. We used to shoot big interviews all the time with at least two cameras. So you'd have your main shot and then you'd have another shot of the same interview a bit closer so that the editor had something to cut away to. So when you're cutting out words, lines, compressing the time of the interview, you had a different shot. Because of course you can't cut from one camera shot to the same shot, losing a bit in the middle because it will jump. And you don't necessarily want to cut to a shot of something else, a cutaway. Uh, because it could interrupt the flow of the interview and indeed not be entirely relevant to exactly what the interviewee was talking about at the time. So we take two cameras. These days, although we are going to deliver the final product in HD, if you shoot it 4K, you can crop in on the image in post-production, like this. Hey, look at that. And now I'm suddenly closer. You're onto a second shot from the same camera. Great, so you've saved yourself another camera and potentially another cameraman. So that's a huge cost saving day per day for shooting interviews. So that's reason one. Reason two, image stabilization after the fact. So let's say you're wandering around with a camera on your shoulder, stuff's happening spontaneously, and you know, it's a bit wobbly. To stabilize in post-production always used to result in a big loss of quality because the way image stabilization works in the computer is the computer tracks the movement within the picture, then crops in, which means a loss in resolution. And that's never good. So your pictures never look quite as good. These days, even if you're delivering HD, if you shoot it in 4K, you can stabilize afterwards, even if the computer crops in quite a lot to stabilize within the frame, doesn't matter because you've got four times as much information as an HD picture to start with. So you end up with just as good a picture beautifully stabilized. So that's reason two. Reason three is reframing. Seems obvious, but if you're gonna deliver an HD picture and you shoot at 4K, it means you can reframe anywhere within those 4,000 by 2,000 pixel dimension picture to get a 1920 by 1080 picture out of it. You can shoot it all a bit wider, crop in afterwards, fantastic or simply to pick a cutaway out of a wider shot. So it gives you enormous amount of flexibility in, in editing if you shoot everything 4K. That being said, I'm not saying you should shoot 4K. It's not the best thing for everybody, but those are the three reasons why I shoot 4K. Don't do it all the time. In fact, most of the time I shoot HD, but for those three situations, to get another shot out of an interview without another camera, to stabilize the picture after the fact and to reframe or crop in editing. If I think those are going to be useful to me, I'll shoot it 4K. I hope that's been useful to you in some way and uh, thank you very much for watching. <laughs>